Hello everyone. We will continue the topic Web Tank Pro App App. And in the previous videos, we covered what is Web Tank Pro App App, what is the architecture of Web Tank Pro App App. Then we covered what are the various advantages and limitations of Web Tank Pro App App. Now, what we will do, we will start with the practical part. We will start with a very basic requirement and based upon that, whatever the components will come, we will cover the theory part for those also. So what is our requirement? We will develop a very simple WebTime Pro application in which input will be sales document number. So we have the input is sales document number. We have a submit button. Whenever we will click on to the submit button, it will display the details of that sales document number from VBAA table. If I will show you the demo in the system, what we will develop. Suppose I am running this application, WebTime Pro application we will develop same kind of application. I will just go for logon. You can see input is sales document number. Whenever I will give the input and click on to the submit button, it is displaying that details. Now, along with date, we will take three to four more fields also like creation date, time and document category. So this is our requirement. Input will be sales document number and we will display the details of that sales document number. In the previous playlist, we developed this kind of requirement so many times. We developed the classical report, ALV report, we developed the module pool program. We are doing same to same thing, but now it will run on the web. It will run on the Internet Explorer because our topic is Web Time Pro App App. Now, now we will simply go to SC80 transaction code. There is no need to go for any separate process, nothing, because SAP integrates each and everything into SC80 transaction code. So we will develop everything with the help of SC80 transaction code only. So I will go to SC80 transaction code. You all know SC80 is for object navigator. Now from the drop down, you can simply choose web time pro component slash interfaces. I will give some name. Suppose I'm saying Z sales order underscore details. I will go for enter. It is asking, do you want to create? Yes, I want to create. Now, now the first most important thing and so many persons ask this question. You previously told that you will create a WebDyne Pro application, but you are creating a WebDyne Pro component. What is the difference between WebDyne Pro component and WebDyne Pro application? Just simply take the example of a module pool program. Suppose if I will show you this module pool program. This is our module pool program which we developed. You created the screens, you have written the logic, everything, PBO, PBP, AI. But at the last, if you want to run the module pool program, we need to create a transaction code. Same thing is applicable here. We will create a WebDyne Pro component in which we will do everything. We will write the logic, we will design the layout, everything. But at the last, how you will run that WebDen Pro component through WebDen Pro application? This is the many people ask this question. Yes, you are saying you are creating an application, but you are creating a component. There are two different things. 
you are creating a component but ultimately how that component will run with the help of application so simply compare you are going for creation of a module pool program it means that is your component and how you are running that module pool program with the help of transaction code so if you want to compare you can simply compare module pool program is your web 10 pro component and transaction code is your web 10 pro application because ultimately your component will run with the help of web 10 pro application only now what i will do i will simply simply go for this radio button web 10 pro component now i will give that description to display the sales order details in the future we will go for interface also as of now we are going for web 10 pro component now you can see in the window name by default name of the component is coming and by default the view name is main whenever i will press enter i will explain also what is window what is view but as of now by default the view name main is coming and the window name is same as that of your component name i will go for ok now i will save it as a local object you can save into package and transport request also it is totally your wish i will save this as a local object now whenever you are creating a web time pro component it has by default four parts what are those four parts component controller component interface views and window so in this component in this web then pro component we have these four parts we will develop this web then pro component and at the last how we will run this web then pro component through web then pro application if i will show you the already developed demo but just few minutes back i showed you that demo you can see same to same thing will be there if i will show you the already developed application you can see we have along with this four part we have fifth also web then pro application so how you are running this component through this web then pro application just just simply compare it to module pool you are creating a module pool program but at the last you are creating a transaction code to run this module pool program we are creating a web then pro component but ultimately how we will run this web then pro component through web then pro application that is itself a url ultimately yes whenever we will proceed we will cover in that detail now we covered so many times if something is appearing in blue color it means that part is inactive if something is in black color it is active during the module pool also i always tell you that yes you should always right click on the program and you should go for activate so that all parts will become active so it is always always a good practice just simply go to the program you can go for anyways it is in display mode as of now so i will simply go for right click and activate if you are in change mode suppose this is the change mode so go for display mode first right click and just activate because in this case what will happen your all parts will become active and you can see sap is activating so many things because that is always a good practice to activate the web 10 pro component now whenever we are going for web 10 pro component four things are by default present now we will understand the meaning of these four things because it will create a base for our first basic application what is the first thing first thing is component controller is divided into two parts component controller it means it is controlling the 
whole web 10 pro component it means it is a king it is just like a backbone of our web 10 pro component if i will read that theory you will get that detailed understanding so firstly i covered whenever you are going for web 10 pro component we have four parts component controller component interface views and windows so what is your component controller? It is the backbone. It is the king of your Web10 Pro component. Whatever you are developing, this is the major backbone. Now, each Web10 Pro component has exactly one component controller. Whenever you will create a Web10 Pro component, it has only one component controller. What is the next thing? It is like a global part. You all know what is global part. Global part means whatever I will do in the component controller, it will be accessed by all parts of that component. Just simply compare it to smartphone. In the smartphone, you have the global data. Whatever you will do in the global data, it will be accessed by all parts of that particular smartphone. Same thing is here. Whatever I will do in the component controller, it will be accessed by all other parts. Now, now I will simply show you first thing. You can see when I when we created the Web10 Pro component by default, what is the name of the view? Main, main. And if you go for window, what is the name of the window? It is by default the name of your Web10 Pro component. Anyways, we will learn what is the meaning of views and windows. Now, we will move on to next part. So, component controller is the king or backbone of your component. Each Web10 Pro component has only one component controller. It is just like a global. Global means it will be visible to all other parts of your Web10 Pro component. Views, windows, everyone can access this component controller, whatever you will do in the component controller. Now we will move on to views. Firstly, we will learn views and windows. Then I will come on to component interface. What is view? Word itself is saying view, but will be visible to the end user. It means you will design the layout in the view itself. So what is view? View is the smallest unit which is visible to the user. It means in the view, you will design the layout, you will design the text element, you will design the input field, tables, buttons. So whatever you will design, you will design in the view. So what is the purpose of the view? Its purpose is to design the layout. Now we will come on to window. What is window? Very, very important. A window is used to combine the views. As of now, we have only one view. That is main view. In future, we will go for multiple views also. So whenever, so what is the purpose of the window? Window is used to combine the views. If I will show you this window. In this window, if you will see, in this window, by default, we have the view is present, whatever the view is present. So ultimately, this view is embedded into this window. If you are not embedding the view into a window, it will never, never be visible. So what is window? A window is used to combine the views. Whatever the views you will design, it must be embedded into the window. If you will not embed in the window, it will never, never be visible. So what is window? You can simply understand it is a container for the views. It is used to combine the views. A view can only be displayed on the browser if it is embedded in the window. And in the future, many people do this mistake. They create the view, but they are saying it is not visible on my browser because you have not embedded in the window. So window is just like a container for the views. Now we will come on to the fourth part, component interface. Anyways, this is not so much importance at this point of time, but just divide this. 
component interface it means it is the interface for this web 10 pro component word itself is saying if i want to use this web 10 pro component into another web 10 pro component then i will make use of component interface so what is component interface it helps us for communication between web 10 pro component as of now this is only one, one web 10 pro component if i have another web 10 pro component how they will communicate with the help of component interface only word itself is saying it is just a interface which will help to communicate this web 10 pro component with another web 10 pro component anyways whenever the practical part will start you will get the more clarity so what is the summary of this particular video important video because it will create a base for you how you will do the practical part in the web 10 pro so what we did we took a simple requirement input will be sales order number output will be details of that sales document number so what we did we simply went to sc80 transaction code from the drop down we choose web 10 pro component slash interfaces i gave the name i press the enter important part we covered because so many people ask you are saying you are creating application but you are creating a component just think you are creating a component in which you have logic layout everything but ultimately how that component will run with the help of application just compare it to module pool you are creating a full program in which pbo pai screen designing is there but ultimately you need if you want to run that module pool you need to create a transaction code and same thing is there whenever you are creating a web then pro component it has four parts what is the first part component controller now second part is your component interface views and windows component controller is the backbone of your component web then pro component it is just like a king it is the global part whatever you will do in the component controller it will be accessed or visible to all other parts of the web 10 pro component now what is view word itself is saying by default main view is present yes with the help of view you will design the layout because ultimately that will be visible to the end user what is window a window is used to combine the views or embed the view if you want a view to be displayed on the browser you need to embed in the window and lastly we covered component interface word itself is saying this is the interface for this component it means if i want to communicate this web 10 pro component with another web 10 pro component this part will help at that point of time in the next video we will start with our practical part we will design the layout we will write the logic and we will get the expected output so that's it in this video thank you